Hi. Inspired by Dan Schiffman's and Golan Levin's guest tutorial number seven on the coding train, Circle Morphing, I've made this. Dan said we could make uh, circles morphing into triangles or circles morphing into squares. I like uh, to play around in 3D, so I made a cube that morphs into a sphere and back. Would you like to know how it works? It's all done with these 41 lines of code. That's it. That's fun to watch. Took a while to get this to work. I spent a couple hours on this. Um, well, let's see, let's start here. It's made out of boxes, filled with colors. The color is a function of where we are on X, Y, and Z and how that maps to red, green, and blue. And Um, let's look here. Setup. We create a canvas that takes the full width of the browser window. And then in draw, we choose this um, value here called max offset, which when we're drawing a sphere, it's, the, it's a radius. Otherwise, when we're drawing a cube, it's the distance from the center to any face. Uh, for range is a function I wrote that made it so I could do this. Cycle over X, Y, and Z. It takes a function, and they're chained together. So this is a nested, nested loop here. What else? In draw here. There's the background color. Um push it a little bit away so we can see it all and rotate on X by pi over four. That's why it's tilted a little bit on X. And then we rotate on Y over time. Then the, you see this morphing is a periodic function. So I use cosine. I would have used sine, but cosine starts with a higher value, um, which was convenient for me. Um, then I have changing max radius, which takes this cosine over time and maps it from its values of minus one to plus one to max offset through max offset times two. So it takes, kind of takes an imaginary radius, if you like, and makes it move from here to here and here to here. Um, okay, so that's changing max radius, that's a vector. Then when we draw each box, we create a vector for the location of the individual box. Then we see how much we need to shrink it in toward the center if we do. And that's done by comparing the magnitude of the maximum radius with the magnitude of the box that we're preparing to draw. And if the normal position of the box within this within the cube, would place it outside that changing max radius, then we produce this value here, which is um, less than one. So if we, we, we multiply, um, we multiply the position by that constant, and that scales each one of these boxes by the portion needed so that they all shrink and stay evenly spaced from each other. And the push and pops around the translate transformation and we move to the position we've computed and we set the fill color and then we draw the box. 
And that's it. The code is on GitHub in web games. And this is cube to sphere. Okay, hope you enjoy this as much as I do. I really I like watching I like watching those corners come in. That is fun. All right. See ya.